Bitcoin has pumped 64K. Does that mean it's going higher? I think it's a bull trap. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe five by five, staying alive here in Dubai. I really think that Bitcoin, you know, although we're going to get to, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, even a million dollars eventually, in the short term, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And I think that this time, you know, as much as I want just only Bitcoin to only go up, I don't see that happening in the short term. I think May is clearly a month, actually, that you sell in May and walk away. So with institutional players are involved in Bitcoin, I predict that that is going to happen. Let's see what happens with the price, because, you know, anything can happen, right? The, the US dollar could fall out of bed and then Bitcoin could blow up, right? So, and on top of that, you know, there are signs of a recession and people are noticing that things are slowing down. So who knows? Bitcoin could use that as a positive sign. Uh, we just never know with the market, right? The market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent, as they would say. Okay. With that said, we're going to be looking at, you know, price action and at the end of the show, but we're going to go over some news items that I've found for you guys. And also we're going to do some trading. So if you're interested on in trading, you can head over to coinw.davinciej15.com. Links in the description below and join our chat group. Also, link is in the description below. Cheers. Make sure, you know, if you're an American, you know, in Europe or anywhere, you should get ID somewhere else. If you can, if you can afford a passport somewhere, do that. But if you could have, you can't afford that. I'm sure you can afford this small $250 a year for ID in another country so that you can KYC on exchange and escape when they close the doors on you <clears throat> and prevent you from actually buying crypto. Don't want that to happen. So make sure you have some sort of backup plan and do have this as well. Now, I don't get any money for this. It's just points. And so I don't know what the points give you, but I don't think they give you much. Satoshi's privacy legacy reverberates through Dogecoin. What happened? Okay, this is interesting. I, I want to talk about it. Basically, right? Bitcoin, right? Uh, the, pub the public can see that someone is sending an amount to someone else but there is no information linking the transaction to anyone, right? So that's how Bitcoin works. For those that don't know, Satoshi proposed that as an additional firewall, as additional firewall, a new key pair should be used for each transaction to keep them from being linked to common owner. So meaning, what did he mean by that? Is that every time you send Bitcoins, you should send it to the person you're sending it to, and to another address, a new address that you create as change. And the reason why is that now it's difficult to determine if they sent it to, you sent it to, to someone else, or sent it both to, to some to, two people or two different people or to, to yourself. You can't tell if it went to yourself or to someone else. This is, this is what, what Satoshi was talking about. Now, the problem is, right, which uh, Mishbor, is talking about is that uh, you know a lot of these programs right have not done this right for example metamask right metamask right when you use metamask you use the same address over and over again this exposes your public key right and there's a problem with that it exposes you to privacy issues right so everyone can see how much you've got right and on top of that if the encryption is broken on any of these, any cryptocurrency actually, they can take the public key, which is now visible because once you make in a transaction with that address, you have to provide the public key. They can take that public key and convert it back to the private key. That's a broken encryption. And so effectively, right, we do not want to use the same address over and over again, right? We want to use a new address every single time we move cryptocurrencies around, but right, Privacy-oriented wallets discourage users from, from reusing addresses, right? But we don't use that. That's privacy-oriented wallets. And incorporate easy-to-use coin control features. But this is not the norm. 
And that's 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 the problem that this man is pointing out on his tweets. It is a critical thing to have complete privacy with your cryptocurrencies. Why? Because if you don't, well, you've seen what happens, right? Government says, well, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, 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 no. Right. And you're like, well, what do you mean? I can't, I can't buy another currency. What do you mean? I can't buy. Right. And if you think, well, it's not going to happen here. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. You're special. Stable coins on the verge of beating Visa in volume. How will this it affect Bitcoin? Interesting. Well, the rise of stable coins has been nothing short of a meteoric since 2017, with recent projections suggesting that they are set to surpass Visa in total payment volume by the second quarter of of, wow, 2024, it's anticipated that milestone underscores the significant role stablecoins are beginning to play in the global payment landscape, particularly within the realm of cryptocurrency trading. Yeah, well, 90% right, is stablecoins trading, basically. Why is that? Well, it's simple. The governments don't want you to access crypto. So they are like, no, no, no. We'll make it very difficult for you to Buy at uh, any exchange. If you try to buy at, you know, Coinbase, right? A friend of mine finally said he'll bite the bullet and he's a pilot and he said he would bite the bullet and buy Bitcoin back in when it was price was 45K. And he has been fighting Coinbase ever since just to set up his account. Fighting just to set up the account. This is how bad the situation is. And you know, I want you to know that's done on purpose. I want to repeat that again. That's done on purpose. Why? Does the government really want you to get into crypto? No. In fact, my fiance or her family was told, hey, is she, is she, her family in Poland was told, hey, if you have any Bitcoin, you need to report that. And they'd be like, I guess I have to get some Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and if you do want to get some Bitcoin, you can head over to buybit.davinciJ15.com or 2bit.davinciJ15.com or even coinw.davinciJ15.com. Links are in the description below. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes, this this trade has gotten like, you know, a little bit brutal. It's almost got stopped out, but didn't quite get there. But yeah, I've added to my short here. And, you know, I really think that the short that Bitcoin is going to roll over here and, you know, see a lower price, well, a lot lower prices. I don't see this as, this is a bull trap. I don't see this as going higher. And yeah, anything could happen. And I will set my stop losses and take my stop, my lumps if it does go higher. But I don't think that's going to happen. Now, I see Bitcoin targeting, right, the 52K. And we can see, let's just take a look at some some Fibonacci retracement levels. So for example, Fibonacci, I bet you there's this Fibonacci retracement in level here. There's one right about, let's just, let's take from here to here. So we might, you know, stop around the 53K or, so yeah, you might want to reduce this a little bit, right? Still be a two to one risk to reward ratio, right? And boom, there it is. Nice and sweet, right? to get it, get you into a, a two to one. So yeah, I am happy to take this short and see what happens. Yes, it's rough. That's the way it is. Trading is not easy. It can be very painful at times, right? And that's why you have to use risk management where you're only going to lose 5% of your money at any point in time. Uh, this trade is still going on, right? It looks like, as I was saying, you can see if you were to do a Fibonacci Retracement, you can see that the 1.618 is down here, but I really think that this AB equals CD taking us down even further to the 40 to $2,400 level approximately also is is valid. And you can see the downward trend line, it is holding it nicely. So you can see that this was an AB equals CD down to, to that level. So 
and you can see that we have bounced off of it nicely and i really think that it will we will roll over here and head lower also you know there's also fibonacci retracement right from here to here that leads us down to this level here so and there's lots of evidence right you see boom right here boom lots of evidence that we're getting, <laughs> we're getting to that target now will it play out that way right there's no guarantees it's only technical analysis and this that's just the way it is it, it says that uh, that's where our, our target is and we have to accept it if if it gets there great if it doesn't get there great we didn't lose a whole lot of money and that's how you manage these trades okay well that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's episode i know i enjoy being here i hope you guys hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys tomorrow cheers